Hello, welcome to Beehive Evolution. This video today is about another envelope, much simpler, faster uh, for, for you to build. Uh, this one is an hexagon and it's, it's complex. I mean, it, not everybody would, would want to do this. So uh, I was thinking about that. I want to simplify things for you all the time so that uh, it's easier for you. Okay, so this is what it is. This is a mock-up for now, okay? So, uh, the actual width of the boards would be, if you want bars or plywood, or you need two bars, would be about 12 inches. The bottle is about 10 inches, 12 inches would give you an inch on both sides. So this would actually be the size, the width of this thing here. Okay, I'm blessed that 10 minutes from here, I have a guy that has a sawmill and I can get any kinds of lumbers. So, um, you know, for you it might be different, but... Okay, so this is basically the same as this. It will go on the tree like so. This one, because of the nectagon, it's a bit... This is in a different place. Okay, so what you do is... This bar is about 64 inches. Okay, these are about the size you need for the bottles I took from there. And I have a video that says the sizes, approximately. So in the bottom, in your first bar, you do these two braces here. And these are important because once everything is loaded, you have up to, up to 300 uh, pounds of weight. So these guys will hold and stabilize everything, okay? So there'll be a hole here, of course, for when your bottle comes on here. The bees are coming in. So under, under I made a little uh, B, B highway, you know, that would be five, six, six, three eighths would be good, up to half an inch actually, it is good for the main entrance. So then the bees, of course, this is blocked here, so the bees can, from the balls come, and then they have a little, a little highway, and you can make a little landing board there for them, all right? So, you got that at the bottom, and then this is very simple, square it off and you put your boards and as you see there there I have a bit, a bit of leeway and I want that because I'm still designing boxes for feeding them with honey during the winter not water, not, not sugar, but the pure honey or a mixture as best as possible so therefore on this side, your balls in here you have a door that would open you make your door all the way, panel, and of course you, you add a little piece. I have quarter inch plywood, this would be enough. And this is a, 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 the best plywood I've ever, I've ever had. It's, a, it's not a particle board, and this once painted would last forever. So you cut a little strip on your board. This is a bit too far, you, cut it, you would cut it enough that, the, uh, that your joint is covered by this. So, there your door, and then whatever, you have little clips that can shut your door. On the other side, on the other side, you put, put a solid panel, okay? And screw it on, and this will make it very strong. All right, so therefore on this end, right here, you would have the holes drilled, and you would have identical to this guy, on the hexagon, is on the side, but on the square, it would be... Oh, I know, yes, just that V highway is explained in, the, in another video. I didn't show how I hook it on. This little piece simply hooks into your B space of 3 8 here, so it holds the, this thing in place. And I will have one in the bottom, too, that will clip somehow, and so it can't come off with the wind. So this guy, with the bottles, right here, will fit right here, okay, on this. So then you have all your, your bottles here, and at the same time your, your B highway comes right here, so they can, you can leave this open too, so they can come here, or you can go right up in there, and of course from the other video you'll see how the bees can go from the bottles to the B highway. So there you go, that's, uh, that's simple. Like I did that in 30, 30, 30 minutes 
I, I could have used the actual big bars and I would have had it pretty well all done. Another thing I'm finding out is that with the bottles, for over and take me, I think always a one year cycle. I'm just not, think, I think of everything. So it's uh, what you have with the bottles. You have an ecosystem into an ecosystem. So if you insulate all that and you have a big cavity, this, the cavity will, will get cold and the bottles will get cold also. So what will happen is you probably don't have to insulate as much. You leave a bit more space. And I just contacted the guy yesterday for sheeple. And this is what I would use. When it comes to winter time, I put my bottle there. If there's two, it would brood, whatever, to, to come up. I put my feeder, and then I would stuff this nicely with, with uh, sheep wool. And that would work. That, I think that's the only way. And sheep wool, of course, is natural. And uh, that would be good for their industry if people started to use more of it. All right, this is basically it. All of this you saw in the last video. So, thank you and God bless. Next time.